beautiful beaches, great weather, amenities, close proximity to a multitude of educational and business opportunities, it's hard to deny that Southeastern North Carolina offers a great opportunity to experience a great quality of life. Today, I'm answering some common questions I get from folks all the time when thinking about moving to Southeastern North Carolina, and we're going to take a look at some of the maps. So if you're ready, let's go. If we haven't met yet, I'm Sue Singleton, Realtor with Codwell Banker, Seacoast Advantage here in beautiful Southeastern North Carolina. Over the recent years, the beautiful beaches, the quaint towns, great weather and mild climate, along with numerous business opportunities, have all brought many new residents to Southeastern North Carolina. Now, I get lots of questions from folks when they're looking to relocate. It's funny sometimes because we start up in the Topsail Island area and they may actually end up purchasing a home in Calabash, which is close to the South Carolina line. So today I wanted to answer some common questions I get from folks when they're looking to relocate. And we're also going to take a look at a map so that you can get a better idea about the Cape Fear region here in southeastern North Carolina. One of the things I wanted to do today as we're answering these questions is I actually wanted to bring up the map so that you can kind of get a good idea of some of the areas that we're going to be talking about. So I'm going to share my screen. Okay, so now that we're screen sharing, um, we're going to start with the question that is, what exactly makes up about the Cape Fear region? Now, a lot of people have heard a lot about the Cape Fear region in Southeastern North Carolina. So what I wanna do is I actually want to show you the different counties on my map here as we are, if I can get it adjusted. So you just have to bear with me as I work with this touch screen. But I wanna show you the counties here in Southeastern North Carolina that make up the Cape Fear region. So we're gonna start with, let me find it here so that we can search it out. We're gonna start with Brunswick County. So this is gonna take us to the Brunswick County area so that you can see it. And I'm gonna close that out. So you're gonna see that Southeastern North Carolina the first county that we're going to talk about is Brunswick County. So you can see all of this area here outlined in red is considered Brunswick County. Now the next county is going to be New Hanover County. So let's let the map take us over to New Hanover County. And you're going to see it outlined in red here. So this is New Hanover County. So that's another region in the um, Southeastern North Carolina Cape Fear area. And then we're going to go to Pender County, which is right above New Hanover County. And you can see that we're going up north from Brunswick County that's going to cover the Cape Fear region. So again, you see this big area here that covers Pender County. And let me close that out too, so that you can see it a little bit better. So you're going to see all of this area. This is the coastal area here. And these are the inland and mainland areas of Pender County. And so finally, we want to go up to Onslow County. And you're going to see the coastal area of Onslow County here. And you can see it outlined in red, all of the areas that include um, the coastal region, the coastal area and inland areas and the mainland areas of Onslow County. Okay, so those are all good areas to know about or to keep in mind when we're talking about the Cape Fear region here in southeastern North Carolina. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, so then you can see it a little bit better. So here is Onslow County. We came down from Onslow County into Pender County, from Pender County to New Hanover County, and from New Hanover County into Brunswick County, Cape Fear region. This is the South Carolina state line. So when we're talking about Calabash, so Calabash is situated here, and we're going to look at that in a little bit. You'll see that it's right near, Calabash is really basically right on the North Carolina, South Carolina borderline. 
So do keep that in mind as we are going along with that. Okay, so another question that I get a lot about is about what are the beaches that make up Brunswick County? So we want to talk about that. So I'm going to move the map around a little bit so that you can see it here. I want to show you the beach areas that make up Brunswick County. And I'm also going to use my little, to kind of see if I can draw some circles around here for you. So when we talk about the Brunswick beach areas, the areas that we're talking about here are Caswell Beach, Oak Island. So the town of Oak Island actually consists of Caswell Beach and Oak Island. These kind of run together here. So then we go over to Holden Beach, Ocean Isle Beach, and Sunset Beach. So these are the actual beaches of Brunswick County. So we're also going to go over to talk about the islands associated. So we have Bald Head Island here. We also have Bird Island. And let's see if I can fan this out just a oops, got to get that off. Let me stop the let me stop that and see if I can. I want to show you Bird Island on here. And I know that this is going to be a little confusing, but I think it's important that you see where Bird Island is also. Let's see. There it is. So Bird Island is like right here. So we had, let's see if I can line these back up for you. Or we can just erase them. Maybe we just should erase them. Well, what do you think? <laughs> Bear with me. I thank you for, for bearing with me here. Because it can, when you're using Zoom, it can get a little bit complicated with all these tools. But I did want you to see. I'm going to go back here. Hold on. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Okay, there we go. So now let's see. So here's Bird Island here. So Bird Island and Bald Head Island here. And then you have the beaches that run through here, right? So you have from Sunset Beach, Bird Island's right kind of below um, Sunset Beach. And then Ocean Isle Beach, Holden Beach, Oak Island, Caswell Beach. So those are all the beach community areas. Um, the other thing to point out here is, let's see if I can get these off again. Let's erase these so that I can move our map around again. So there's two other areas I want to show you on the map also. So one of them is going to be here in Southport. So Southport is, is known as the um, happiest little town in the South, right? And it's um, a common place to have the movie industry to come in and to make movies here. So some of you may remember the movie Safe Haven, just to, to name one that was a real popular one that was filmed here. But the Hallmark Channel and the Lifetime Channel and some of the other networks also film movies and other network um, series here. So it is like a movie friendly type of community. And then the other one we want to talk about is over in this area. And let's do it like this a little bit. So this is Calabash. Now, if you visited the area before, you probably know already about Calabash. And it's fondly referred to as the seafood capital of the world. But it's really famous for its fried shrimp and fish and oysters and clams and other fishes. 
or other fish, I should say, not fishes, but other fish here along the um, coastline of southeastern North Carolina. But it's also a thriving community that a lot of people really enjoy living in this area through here. And you can see, you can kind of see the layout of the land here. And we just wanted to give you like a, another little view of this particular area. So again, let's kind of play with the map here and see if I can get it to give you like that little 3D view here. So that you can kind of see where all these beach areas, it's a long beach area. It's kind of going to give you a view this way also, okay? But those are the areas that make up the Brunswick, the Brunswick beaches here in southeastern North Carolina. Okay, so another area that I often get asked about is Leland. So I wanted to just show you where Leland is, and I want to show you the proximity it is to Wilmington. So let's move this camera, I mean this map around just a little bit here. And I'm going to show you Leland. So you're going to find Leland here in this area. So we have the Leland area and the Bellevue area, which is all really part of Leland here. And here is the Brunswick River. This is the Highway 74 here. And so this is the bridge that runs over to Wilmington. So if I just zoom in a little bit here, what you're going to see is you're going to see Leland, you're going to see Belleville, you're going to see the bridge that crosses over the Cape Fear Memorial Bridge that crosses over into New Hanover County in Wilmington. Just kind of want to give you an idea here so that you can see really good. I think it just kind of really shows you a lot about the particular area when we're zooming in on the map. And I don't want to go too fast because I want you to be able to get a really good look at the landscape here of Leland and Wilmington. So again, this is the Leland area. Now you can see from this map, from this 3D map that we're looking at, you can see that there's lots of shopping and lots of housing communities all throughout um, the Leland area going into Wilmington. We also have the port. So, you know, Wilmington does house one of the um, biggest state ports along the southeast coastline. So you do have that over in this general section here. But the other thing I wanted to show you, so you see Leland. So as you leave Leland and you're coming back down 17, you come into Town Creek here in Winnebo. So these are all areas. There's Winnebo, here's Town Creek, all through here. So there's lots of community here in this area also. A lot of people really enjoy this area. It is part of the uh, mainland, but a lot of people enjoy it because they maybe work over in Wilmington and it, it's only like a five minute drive from Leland into Wilmington. You know, some of the other subdivisions outside on 17, it may take, you know, 10 or 15 minutes to get over into New Hanover County, but it is a relatively easy drive over. So I'm gonna do one more thing here before we move on to our next area. So I'm gonna go back in and I just kind of wanna see if I can lift this up a little bit for you. I want to lift it up, hold on. So there it goes. So sometimes it's a little persnickety whenever we're working with it this way. Google Earth can be that way. Google Maps is really good too. But I find that Google Earth, I think, just gives it a good, a, a, a better understanding of the layout of the land because you can see it a little bit better. So again, we have Wilmington. Oops, you can't see my hand. We have Wilmington here. So we're going over, we have Bull and Spring Lakes, which is right outside of Southport. You have, remember, we talked about Ballhead Island, Caswell Beach, Oak Island, Holden Beach, Ocean Isle Beach, um, Calabash, Bird Island. Then we have the North Carolina, South Carolina line. So you can see there's a lot of territory 
in between this area here in southeastern North Carolina from New Hanover County down to Brunswick County. So hopefully that you find that helpful. If you want to look a little bit further in, I'm going to mention this area here too, because this goes up to Lake Waccamaw, which is a beautiful lake area here that is still in close proximity to the beach for, for being able to enjoy that island life, but it also has some of the smaller communities out this way. So I just did kind of want to mention that a little bit while we were on this particular map. So let's see. So let's move on and talk about the other beach areas here that make up the Cape Fear region. And so let's go back. So just to kind of give you a, um, an idea of where we're talking about in proximities here, let's go back to where we see on the screen and I'll just do a little. So remember we talked about Ballhead Island and Southport, right? So this is where we were when we were talking about Brunswick County was this area right through here, right? So that's where we were talking about. So now we're gonna go up into a different area of the um, county. Let me erase that so that we won't get all confused here. So now we're gonna talk about Topsail Island. So you have Topsail Beach and you also have North Topsail Beach. It's not showing up here, but this kind of all runs together here. And then we're going to travel down and we're going to see Wrightsville Beach. This is back into New Hanover County. You have Carolina Beach and Curry Beach. These are all areas that, that run along into the Cape Fear region as well. Um, Topsail Island and North Topsail Island or Topsail Beach or North Topsail Beach, depending on which part of the country you may be from what is how you refer to it actually. You also have um, Surf City, you'll see Surf City in here also. Some of the inland areas that I just want to point out is like Hampstead, you've got Sloop Point, you got Bayshore and Ogden and Kings Grant. These are all part of the New Hanover County Wilmington area. Eagle Island, remember Leland, we were talking about Leland, so here's even Leland, you can kind of see how that lies on the map here. Um, Castle Haines, another one. Rocky Point, Winnebo, Bolivia, Bowling Spring Lakes, Myrtle Grove, Oak Island, Southport, Ballhead Island. I just kind of wanted you to see all the different communities that run through here that we've talked about today. We've covered this whole area. And I know it's kind of confusing, you know, looking at the map and getting a good idea of the layout of the land. Um, I personally don't think I've ever met a beach I didn't like. So I think sometimes for folks that are visiting, that are thinking about moving, it really is what type of lifestyle they're looking for. If they're looking back for a more laid back lifestyle where they, they really want to experience what we consider the island time, maybe they want to look out in this area or over in this area more for that more relaxed. But they, some folks come in, you know, maybe they want to be close to the beach, but they really enjoy being able to go to into the city a lot. And maybe they look over in this area. So there really is a lot of opportunity that, that you can see that communities offer between the um, housing, whether it's you know, com the developed communities, you know, homeowners association communities, whether it is townhomes, condos, whether it's a piece of land out in the, the country. I mean, there is something for everybody here. It just kind of depends on, you know, what exactly you're looking for. One more thing I wanted to just point out, this is the Green Swamp Preserve here. There's a lot of wetlands out in this area too, but it's a beautiful area out through there. And if you've ever traveled in on 211, then you've come through Green Swamp coming over to Southport or to Oak Island. So I'm going to clean it up a little bit and just give you a, a little bit of a last view here. Let me just get all this cleaned up for you. As we did, I did, not you, but I put a lot of um, 
circles on that map. Okay, so again, I'm just going to kind of spread it out here so that you can see it again, this beautiful area. And I want to give you, trying to give you a good 3D, 3D view. And let's go back and see if we do a 2D view. So the two, the 2D view is a little bit different. I really like the 3D. 3D, a 3D view is to me, it's just a little bit better in being able to see, you know, the terrain, the communities. You can see a lot of the communities as the map kind of focuses in. You can actually see a lot of the communities. I mean, even over in Highway and Bug Hill and Nakana, these and Tabor City, even Tabor City back here, as far back as Fair Bluff and Sarah Gorda and Chabern, these are all interesting communities to explore. You know, even if you're not interested in moving in those particular areas, they're still really good areas to explore. And hold on, one more thing I want to show you here if I can find it. I want to see if you can see. Okay, so we have Shalot here. So can you see, can you see where my cursor is right here? So we have Shalot here and Shalot, Grisset Town and Vernon Town, which is all in this area here. There's a lot of housing communities all through here. There's all different types of housing communities, close to the water, not so close to the water. And I know I'm probably rambling a little bit, but I just think it's really, important that you're able to see the layout of the land. And I hope that you have found this helpful as we've been going through this. So the last question we're getting into today is one that I hear quite often also, and that is, what is the Riverwalk in Wilmington? So the Riverwalk in Wilmington is actually a two mile scenic walk along the Cape Fear River in historic downtown Wilmington. And truly, it is a favorite for residents and visitors alike. You'll find more than 200 independently owned shops, restaurants, theaters, tours, carriage rides, and other attractions. And in 2021, the Wilmington Riverwalk was voted one of the nation's best riverwalks by U.S. Today's Reader's Choice Awards. The beautiful beaches, the beach towns, the mainlands and the country roads from downtown Wilmington to the South Carolina state line, from New Hanover County up into Pender and Onslow counties, you will find so many other wonderful communities and attractions that really do have the best of what Southeastern North Carolina and coastal living has to offer. As the saying goes, life's the beach and island time is all the time. So whether you're looking to upgrade to a home that would better suit your lifestyle or looking to purchase your first home, let's connect so you can stay updated on what's happening along the Carolina coast and in all of southeastern North Carolina and the Cape Fear region. Please feel free to reach out by phone, text, or email. And if you haven't already, I would appreciate you hitting the subscribe button below, like and share this video, and leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And remember, happiness grows here. I'll talk to you next time.